You know, as RVers, we're always looking for lightweight, compact accessories to make things a little bit easier to carry. We just certainly don't want to carry the whole house with us. And I've seen these for a while. These are backpacking type chairs, but most of them to me seemed awful flimsy. This one uh, looked to me to be cut above the rest. What caught my eye is it had a 300 pound weight limit. It comes with a frame and the seat. And the frame is pre-assembled. When you take the Velcro off, it kind of assembles itself a little bit. And so that's the base. You can maybe see what I mean. The other style just has these two legs connecting here with just one cross member. This has a bigger frame. And then you simply stretch the cover and put it on. And this basically just fits on the leg like that into a little pocket. Okay, so now I'm gonna have my wife sit in it and try it out. Is it comfortable? Yes. And this isn't the easiest thing to disassemble, but if you manage to do it, it should look something like this. Having your fifth wheel stolen is not something we all think about much, but it can happen. So one way to prevent this is just an inexpensive kingpin collar lock. And basically it just comes with a steel sleeve and a padlock. This basically just fits over the kingpin and then it goes through and then it locks in place. And in fact, you can still, if you have anything like this foam rubber noggin knocker protector, it'll still work. And if you follow my channel for a year or so, you know the last year I put a extended hand grip on the side of the RV, which actually helps my wife get up and down the steps, being that she has kind of a bum knee. Well, I run across this product from the same company, Stromberg Carlson, that makes the extended handrail called Zip Grip, and it's just a little cover for the handrails. They have a 22 inch long one for the standard rails, a 39 inch for the long ones, or a combo one, which is what I bought here. And you actually get two. So we'll have to see how those fit. And so essentially, you just start the zipper at one end. And you really want to put this in place before you finish zipping it up because once it gets zipped up, it's hard to move. And there it is. The 22 inch section fits the vertical riser. The 39 inch section fits the long post. And the existing rubber grip was here. I was able to get her over it, but it was kind of difficult to do so. And you may decide to remove the rubber grip. You know, RV manufacturers would not be worth their weight in cheap RV stuff if they didn't make things as cheaply as possible that really looks good but doesn't work. In the case in point with this water connector here. It's supposed to hook up to what looks like a air compressor fitting for a little portable water hose. But the problem is, once you get it on, you can't take it off. So what I found is some higher quality made in China stuff that has a garden hose thread on one end and the air compressor style fit in on the other end. And this will go into here and then I can put any fitting that I want on the end of that. So I can hook a standard garden hose to it. I can buy another one of these type hoses that has a standard garden hose on it. In fact, this thing actually works pretty good. It comes on and off without much issue. You know, in an RV, it's all about downsizing and I'm always on the lookout for something that will help us do that. Well, we run across this mini waffle maker and it'll do four inch waffles, very small, compact and lightweight. And it was like $10. So we decided, let's just try this and see if uh, we should put this in the RV. It does have an indicator lamp that actually shows up better on the video than it does in real life. And once the light is turned off, it's at cooking temperature. Just pour a batter in. And let it cook. And I can see steam coming out of here. This has only been in here about 30 seconds. So, you know, that's pretty quick. And man, it looks like it's done. That's a perfect looking waffle. 